Hi, this is Srinivasa Tirunagari, a technology professional. Introducing Databases Part 1 Topics covered in this lesson Information Needs and Information Systems so information needs and information systems let us understand what is information and what are its needs and what are various information systems normally organizations have business objectives in order to realize those business objectives many decisions must be made on a daily basis a lot of information is needed to make right decisions However, this information is not available in appropriate format. Therefore, organizations need formal systems that allow them to produce required information. This information should be in the right format and at the right time. Such systems are called as information systems. Information systems don't need to be automated. Uh, the data might reside in card files or cabinets or other physical storage mechanism. And this data can be converted into desired information using certain procedures or actions. In general, there are two reasons to automate information systems. One is complexity and another is volume. Regarding complexity, the data structure or the data processing procedures become too complicated, too complex, it becomes too complex. In that case, we have to automate information systems. Second reason is voluminous data. The volume of the data to be administered becomes too large. In that case also, we need to automate information systems. Normally, the data resides in card files normally you find in offices and organizations in cabinets or other physical storage mechanism there is a manual uh, manually they maintain uh, data or information if an organization decides to automate an information system because of complexity or volume it typically will need to use some database technology. The main advantages of using database technologies are accessibility, availability, security, and manageability. With the help of database servers, it is very easy to access the data, and data is available 24 by 7 in a specific format and security you can have security and also the data can be manageable so these are the advantages of using database technologies when specifying or modeling information needs it is good idea to maintain a clear separation between information and application it is always good to have a separate, a clear separation between information or data and the application to access the data or process the data. Okay. In other words, we separate in the following two aspects. First one is what? The information content needed. This is logical level. How? The desired format of the information. This is at physical level. So, for example, what data need to be stored what information need to be stored and how the information is presented to the user this is at the physical level the information content needed is at the logical level and database systems enable us to maintain this separation between what and how aspects what indicates what information needs to be stored, in which format, and how indicates in how the data is being processed and report to the user. 
this allows us to concentrate on first one which is what this is because their implementation is based on relational model two 